what is up guys welcome back to exocytosis medicine where we explore the world of health and medicine today we're going to talk about receptors so what exactly is a receptor well receptors are protein and often these proteins are what we call transmembrane protein which means that the protein goes through the membrane and on one side of this protein that we call a receptor, there is a binding site for ligands. A ligand is basically a substance that binds to the receptor to provoke a physiological effect. Ligands can be neurotransmitter, hormones, and a lot of other protein. And on the other side, the protein that is exposed to the cytoplasm is able to activate an intracellular protein such as kinases, G protein, and many others. And these intracellular protein initiate what we call a signal transduction pathway, which is basically the path that the cell takes to have its physiological effect and this in science is what we call an effector an effector could be an enzyme it could be an ion channel or it could be gene transcription receptors are a target of a lot of drugs a simple example of receptor with an effect would be, for example, acetaminophen. Who doesn't know acetaminophen, right? Well, acetaminophen targets CB1 cannabinoid receptor of the rostral ventral lateral medulla to relieve pain. So what's the rostral ventral lateral medulla exactly? Well, it's just a part of your brain located beneath the cerebellum and next to the pond as you can see on the screen but not only that but acetaminophen also acts on your body by blocking cyclooxygenase enzyme that are basically enzymes that help to form prostaglandins which are pain and inflammation signaling molecules Thank you for watching guys. If you have any question, feel free to leave it down below in the comment. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up. This really helps me and feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. Bye.